Hey guys, today we'll be doing a super intense glute focus workout. All you'll need are some dumbbells and a resistance band. Feel free to take a screenshot of the workout diagrams included right before the workout starts and also at the very end of the workout. Let's get started. Before I start my workout, I'll be mixing up some Ideal Fit BCAAs to drink throughout my workout. BCAAs stand for Branch Chain Amino Acids and they're great for helping to build and maintain muscle as well as aiding in muscle recovery. The ones I'll be using today are Ideal Fits and the Flavor Tropical Dragon Fruit. After I mix up my BCAAs, I'm going to take my pre-workout. Most people will mix their pre-workout in a shaker bottle with water, but I actually prefer to dry scoop mine, so which all that is, is taking it without any water. I'll drink some of my BCAAs, take a scoop of pre-workout, and then take it straight up just like that. Cheers to a good workout, guys. The pre-workout I'm using today is Ideal Fits in the Flavor Blue Raspberry. This one is stim, meaning that it contains caffeine, but they also have stim-free ones that don't have any caffeine. If you guys want to pick anything up from Ideal Fits, make sure to use my discount code Naomi for 15% off your purchase. I'll leave my link to shop in the description. Anyways, let's get this workout started with the glute activation exercises first. We'll be doing three glute activation exercises back to back in a circuit style, starting with fire hydrants for 12 reps on each leg, then donkey kicks for 12 reps on each leg, and then glute bridges for 12 full reps and then 12 pulses. Feel free to take a 1-2 to two minute rest after doing each exercise for one set or go right into repeating the three exercises all over again. You'll want to perform this circuit for a total of three times. I'm using a resistance band above my knees for added intensity, but feel free to do them without a resistance band as well. For a full tutorial on how to perform these three exercises, please refer to my three glue exercises you need in your life video here on YouTube that I'll link in the description. Glute activation exercises simply help warm your glutes up for the rest of the workout so that you can more easily engage them for all the other exercises. I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to end But now you say you gotta go Baby, why you gotta go? Like I know where you affect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to end Love is like a roller coaster, but I'm trying to hold on. I don't want it to stop. Even though we fight sometimes and it feels like a war zone, I still care about us. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out of my head. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. After performing that glue activation circuit for three times, we'll head into the rest of the workout, starting with a superset. Single leg hip thrust for 12 reps on each leg, followed by reverse hypers for 12 to 15 reps, followed by a 1 to 2 minute rest, and then those two exercises performed for a total of four sets. For the single leg hip thrust, grab a bench, the edge of your bed, a stool, or anything about knee height that you can lean against. Position the bottom of your shoulder blades right above the edge of the bench with your working leg positioned on the ground so that your knee comes to about a 90 degree angle when you go up into the hip thrust, which helps to target your glutes versus your quads or hamstrings. Whichever foot is on the ground, the corresponding glute on that same leg will be the one we're working until we switch legs. 
Place the dumbbell wherever it's comfortable around your pelvis. Start with your booty right above the ground and only one foot on the floor with the other extended out in midair and squeeze the glute of the leg on the ground to initiate and feel the movement, keeping your non-working leg off the floor at all times. Inhale as you lower yourself back down and exhale as you squeeze your glutes to power the hip thrusting movement. Right after doing 12 reps in each leg, move over to the side of your bench for reverse hypers. Laying with stomach down and pelvis right at the edge of the bench so your legs can freely move, start with feet touching and knees right above the ground. Flex your glutes to bring your feet up so your quads are about parallel to the ground. Exhale as you contract your glutes to power the movement and inhale as you lower your legs back down. Shoot for doing 12 to 15 reps. If you're not able to do these, feel free to do frog pumps instead. Again, after performing this superset, rest for 1-2 to two minutes and then repeat it for a total of 4 times. After performing that superset 4 times, we'll head into Bulgarian split squats next for 4 sets of 12 reps on each leg. Feel free to use anything about knee height to rest your non-working leg on. You'll want to position your foot out in front of you so that your knee comes close to or directly on top of your ankle when you go down into the squat. This helps to engage your glutes more, whereas if your knee comes closer to right on top of your toe, this engages your quads more and knee coming behind your ankle engages your hamstrings more. Inhale as you lower yourself down into the squat and exhale as you push off your heels to go back up. Make sure to also slightly lean your upper body forward about 30 to 45 degrees to prevent lower back pain. I also like to keep my foot that's on the bench flat so as to not take away any focus for my working leg. I also want to place all my weights on my heel in front of me so that I can target that glute as much as possible. Rest for 1-2 to two minutes in between each of the 4 sets of Bulgarian split squats. I love Bulgarian split squats, but boy, do they always kick my butt, so you can find me refueling with my ideal fit BCAAs in between sets. After Bulgarian split squats, we'll be doing curtsy squats for 4 sets of 12 reps on each leg. If you've never done these before, they're just like doing reverse lunges, except instead of stepping straight back behind you, you want to step back to the opposite side of your body, just like as if you were doing a curtsy. So when you're stepping back with your left foot, you want to bring it back to the right side of your body and vice versa. Inhale as you step back and exhale as you push off your front foot to return back to starting position. Rest 1-2 to two minutes after each of the 4 sets of curtsy squats. Finally, we'll be finishing off our workout with a glute bridge pyramid set for 4 times, which will look like this. 15 reps at our lighter weight, switching dumbbells for a heavier one and doing 12 reps, and then switching dumbbells again for an even heavier one for 9 reps. Rest for 1-2 to two minutes and then repeat for a total of 4 times. For example, I'm starting with a 30 pound dumbbell, moving up to a 40 pound one, and then lastly a 50 pound one, but feel free to use any 3 dumbbell weights that you'd like. Position your feet on the floor so that your knees come right on top of your ankles when you go up into the bridge to keep it as glute focused as possible.
And that completes our workout guys. Once I get back home, I'm going to mix up a protein shake for the gains before I get back into the rest of my day. I'll be using Ideal Fit's Clear Whey in the flavor strawberry today and just mixing it with ice and water. If you've never tried Clear Whey's before, you definitely need to. They're super light and refreshing and are a great alternative to your standard protein shakes. Clear Whey's taste kind of like a flavored water or juice, except they're packed with protein, which is awesome. Love these, definitely give them a try. Ideal Fit has sample sizes of many of their products so that you can try them out before committing to an entire huge tub. If I had an option to be someone else, I would. 